uh, out and about indoors today um, and I've brought you indoors because I want to talk about plotting a route using the Garmin eTrix 20 and Basecamp. This is my Garmin GPS module that I use um, whenever I'm going somewhere where I don't really know <coughs> the terrain. So <coughs> generally if I'm in my local hills I know my way around. Um, I, I know in my head where I want to go and I don't really need to take mapping with me. They're, they're well signposted uh, footpaths um, and the loops that I do, I, I, I generally do them quite a lot so I know where I'm going um, and I don't really have to worry about it. If I'm going somewhere new, uh, so recently I was in Southern Ireland uh, do, and I was doing a lot of running in the mountains and the hills so every time I went out I plotted it onto base camp first and what that does is it gives me a nice little route that I can follow on my Garmin um, and it's it, it, it's very very precise so so one of the routes I did I was up Karen Tool uh, which is the highest point in, in Ireland and I was doing a, a trek just on a thing called the Horseshoe and again you can't couldn't really get lost you get up on the ridge you follow the ridge round and then you come back down but there were sections of that walk that well there, there wasn't really a path there. there there was a path marked on the map but on the ground there was no marker um, to say yes you must go this way and and this particular bit of rockery uh, and there was a lot of rockery to climb up you must go this way um, but the, the 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 mapping on the Garmin was precise enough that I could walk say 10 meters to the left and know that I was to the left of the track and then walk to the right and know when I was gone slightly to the right of the track and, and sort of walk out okay it, it, it may not look like a path um, but yes there is a way up there so I'll follow that and sure enough once I got through that little bit of rockery you could pick up the, the little worn bits where people had been before um, so absolutely invaluable uh, tool for navigating I will say you know I mean, if, you, if you're going out for a couple of days and all the rest of it then then take a proper paper map with you it's, it's worth the investment but for the type of things I do where I'm, I'm generally running a loop so, uh, so I, I, I sort of have a good idea where I am so what I'm going to do now is drop into base camp um, and show you the plotting of of a of a route onto base camp that will then appear on the Garmin and that I can follow when I'm uh, when I'm out and about. <laughs> First thing I need to do is just connect the Garmin to my laptop. So there's a couple of ways I can do that. Um, I can lift up this little waterproof cover at the back here. There we go, and plug it in. Give you a chance to see that. That's a USB Type B, I think it is. It's the old Type USB anyway. Um, so I can plug it in directly to that, or I can take the back off, which is what I'm going to do. Let me just see me do this. So I take the back off. You see, there's a couple of double AAs in there. Again, absolutely dead handy, so you don't have to worry about sort of charging it. And, and these batteries, I mean, they last about 16 hours. So if I'm going out sort of two hours at a time, well, I'm going to get eight, eight journeys out of a couple of batteries. And of course, they're, they're available everywhere, so you can just pick those up, uh, whatever you like. So next thing I'm going to do is go into the back, grab the SD card. There we go. There's the SD card that's got my mapping on it, it's got um, my routes, my plots and all the rest of it. I'm just going to plug that into the laptop and then, uh, and then show you what's happening there. This is Basecamp. Um, I have plugged the Garmin in via the USB uh, so that I can see both sections of it over here. So this bottom part here where it says device, this is what's on the SD card. And this top section here is what's actually stored on the eTrex itself. Uh, down the bottom here, I can see at the moment I'm selecting user data, and I've got three little uh, uh, routes in there. If I show you this one, Kimba, so this is this is the last run I did. And there's the route I plotted. Okay. And the map I'm using at the moment on this one is a uh, Talky Toaster uh, open street map and these are available for download uh, from, from the Talky Toaster website. You can zoom in, you can see the little paths and the trails and all the rest of it. Not as good as Ordnance Survey in most cases. I will switch over 
to my OS maps. There we go. So now I'm looking at my OS maps with the full contours and, and all the rest of it. So this is, this is where I, I plot my data, which I then move into this section here. Uh, they need to be on the actual device in order to show up on screen. But I plot them here. Be, well, it doesn't really matter where I plot them. I can plot them in either. Okay, so let's have a look at how we're actually going to plot one. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, I'll plot a route around Clint, which is uh, an area near home, and I'll show you how I, how I do that. First of all, make sure I'm on the right map. I'm just using the, the scroll and the mouse to zoom into the area that I want to work in. So this is the area I'm looking at, um, and if I wanted to go for say a, a, a five mile run um, in this general area, what I can do is go to my mapping, just sort this out, that's all a bit odd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot a route around this, this location, uh, following the paths. And then I'll, I'll refine it to make sure that I am actually following the routes rather than, uh, like I say, it's easy to get just, just a couple of metres off um, and it can it can really throw you out. You can do a thing called uh, waypoints. So you can set a point and say, this is where I want to go to. And the map will just draw a straight line from wherever you are to wherever your waypoint is. The problem with that is if you drift, if you go left or right slightly, it will just draw a straight line from wherever you are again. Um, now... Generally, in, so, so Rain Clinton, that's not going to be a massive issue. There's this footpaths there, and you're going to be following the footpaths. They're well marked out. Um, if you're somewhere like uh, like Ballyhura, where I was recently, where the paths aren't so clear, and you're trying to follow a straight line, you can end up in trouble because you can drift, um, say, to the right of a path, and the waypoint will say, right, it's directly over there. <clears throat> so you'll start walking that straight line, but what you might not realise is actually... Um, to the left or to the right of the path that you were on is bog. So you've drifted to the right in a dry area and now your straight line is putting you straight through a bog. So you end up knee deep in in, uh, in sludge and water and, and basically bog. Um, and that that shouldn't happen if you if you plot your route correctly um, using the routes rather than using waypoints. Oh. Let, let's start doing it. So I'm going to create a route. So across the top here are my various tools. Uh, new waypoint and it's new route. This is where I'm going to start with. Now, first of all, I'm going to plot my route quite roughly. Just click on that, click on my start point, and I'm going to go. Um, I know I'm going to come over to here, so I'm just going to draw a straight line to there for now and just press my button again. Now, what it's done there is it, it's it, it's plotting a route for me. Um, this this uh, this map is routable. So it's saying, you want to go that way, this is the way to do it. Uh, like a GPS would, like a sat-nav would. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to plot off-road. Um, and a routable map, or this routable map, won't plot off-road. It'll only plot um, uh, the roads. So I just need to turn that off. So I just press Escape to come out of my map. Go into my selection. And I just want to have a look at the properties. Try double-clicking it. So here's the issue. Um, it, it's got me down as hiking. What I want is direct. So I select direct and close that down. Now you can see it's drawn a straight line. Uh, that may seem a little bit odd at the moment, but this is going to sort itself out in just a second. So back into my route. Okay. And it's saying insert, which is what I want to do. But this time I'm going to come right to the start. So I get that big circle there. If, if I come here and then click on this line, it'll drag out to where I want to go and then it'll allow me to, to drag out these as well. So this is how I'm going to refine it later. What I want to do is add to the end. So I come right to the end so I get that big circle, click on it and now it's allowing me to add to that route. To navigate the map, so actually move the map around, I'm just using the uh, directional arrow keys um, just to move them around. 
So what route am I going to take? I am going up to the top of the hill. And then I want to get down to off more wood. So I'm going to cut across country to here. Then there. Then there. So all I'm doing now is very, very roughly marking out. Now off more wood has um, permissible paths in it. Um, but it doesn't have uh, rights of way, public rights of way. Um, that's the main track that goes through there. The route I'll be taking, though, actually brings me in about here, because I, I know this area, so I know that there's an entry to Offmore Wood. Obviously, if you didn't know it, you could just follow the path around the outside to the bottom here. Um, but I'm just going to roughly plot my way through Offmore Wood, as I would, because I know the path. So I've clicked it to there now. Now with Uffmore Wood, my exit point is going to be about there, okay? Because I, I know that, that little path there that it puts me onto. So I'm going to come into there, and then I'm going to go along to the church. I'm coming up to this little point here, and then I'll just close that down, and then I'm going there and then back to my start point and then escape out. So that's my rough route. Uh, the, the distance on that is 5.4 miles. Now obviously that's uh, straight line running uh, and I won't be running a straight line. I will be following these paths. So I'm just going to zoom in now to a greater detail and I'm going to add. So again I'm just going to click on the insert select my line now, i want to be behind my first uh, bend if you like on it because it's always going to work forward so there 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 and there now if i carry on going up here it's going to it's going to add like a massive loop on so i don't do that i just want to escape out move on to the next bit uh, which is this section here and then again just click on the line and just drag it and I'm just clicking everywhere I want to put this point. And again, I've come to the, that, that last little point now. I don't want to continue there, so escape and onto the next bit. Which is actually going to bring me down to there. Okay, and escape out. I need to move the point, so I'm not really that happy with where that is. So I'm just going to click the move, which is that one. And now I can just drag that point and move it to where I want it to be. Right, I'll just quickly uh, whiz through this next section and, and get this fully plotted out. Uh, I'll, I'll speed this up so you don't have to sit through it. <clears throat> so that's my route plotted uh, around off my wood. The distance will be about 5.9 miles, which is what I would expect. So, yeah, six miles. Um, there will be a little bit of a <clears throat> quite a, a margin for error in, in this area here in off more woods. Um, however, what I can do. This is um, this this is the Garmin Connect uh, web page that, that links to my watch. So when I'm out running, uh, if, it, if, it's, if it's not a long hike, so if I'm not going to be out all day, then I tend to, to monitor all my runs on my watch. Generally, I use the Garmin if I've been somewhere for the first time or if I'm going somewhere for the first time and I don't know the way and it's 
th there's a chance I might get lost. Once I know a route, I tend to just, I don't even bother with the Garmin. I, I, I track myself on my watch. That plots what I've, what I've actually done um, and it puts it into here. So have a look at all activities. So there's my, that was my rough Garmin plot. I'm on the wrong side of the water there, actually. Um, the actual route through Offmore, because obviously the watch tracks it, is there. So I wasn't far off anyway. I, I, I remember it went down that side, of, of wrong side of the water, and then straight across. Um, the route that I've plotted actually brings me up here along this water, uh, rather than going up into the hills that way. Yeah, um, so that's how you create a route using Basecamp for the eTrex. I assume it's going to be pretty much the same for whichever Garmin model you're using. Um, and then it's just a matter of sticking to it.